exclusive interview is that former Navy machinist you just heard Congressman DeSantis talking about, Christian Saucier. Christian, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me on, Sandra. What was that like this morning to see your story brought up in that tweet by the president again? Well, I mean, it's good because I think he's pointing out some serious issues that the FBI and the DOJ under Comey and Andrew McCabe, you know, I mean, these are the same guys who were investigating me at the same time they were supposedly investigating Hillary Clinton and uh, her cronies. And, you know, they couldn't wait to exonerate them before they'd even conducted interviews, whereas they jumped, you know, were chomping at the bit to destroy my life, which is exactly what they did. To you know? be clear, but, Christian, and I think this is important to get this out here, you took responsibility for your actions. You owned it. You, uh, you pled guilty. And then you served time. Correct. So it's it's a double standard that you oh, you yeah. say you believe exists. Oh, yeah. I mean, these politicians, Hillary Clinton, a you know, prime example, she denied and denied and denied it until finally she got caught red handed and said, OK, I did it. What's the big deal, basically? Well, the big deal is, is, is she did exactly what they accused me of doing and what I pled guilty and took responsibility to. I didn't go to trial. I basically I took secured information, the my, pictures of my submarine and put it on an unsecured device, my cell phone. That's what I got charged with. Unlawful retention of national defense. And Christian, and, which, and, by and, the way, it's ex and also exactly to point out, you're still did. under house arrest, right? I mean, you still got an ankle bracelet on. That's correct. You're yeah, I, I did a year in federal prison. I got six months of house arrest and three years of federal probation. Plus, I'm a felon and I have another than honorable discharge. So I lost all my VA disability benefits, uh, you know, my veteran status, everything. After 11 years in the service and, uh, you know, two deployments to the Middle East, I, I, I have nothing. You know, it's, it's very difficult for me watching as, you know, this very same FBI that was supposedly, you know, protecting us from people that you know, mishandled classified information. Well, that's what they said was my case, that they needed to set an example. Well, why aren't they setting an example of this egregious violation that Hillary Clinton and Huma Abedin and Cheryl Mills did? They had top secret SCI, which is the highest level. I had confidential pictures, you know, which, you know, I'm not trying to minimize what I did. I made a mistake, and that's why I took responsibility. But I've been contacted by numerous people in the military after this happened, and they said, you know, from Vietnam up to current day and said, well, gosh, I took pictures of where I worked, you know, and it was probably top secret or something, but I wanted to have mementos of my time in service. And I said, well, you know, that's honestly, that's what a lot of people do. And that's what I did, um, you know, but it just so happened that my case was fortuitous for them to prosecute so that they could take so, the heat off Hillary Clinton. Now, what happens, what happens next with the president bringing, bringing you and your situation up in this tweet this morning? I know you had had hopes that, um, if President Trump would possibly pardon you or relook at your case, he hasn't done that. Uh, do you still have hopes that he may? Well, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that he'll he'll look at this case and say, "Look, this sailor, you know, me. I, I've been my family and I have been put to the ringer. We've been punished enough. You know, um, we've lost everything. Our house is in foreclosure. You know, we got bill collectors from all the legal debts calling all the time. Um, you know, what what?" more can they do to us? I, I think he needs to send a clear message to the DOJ under the Obama administration that what they did to us was far to the you know extreme. And uh, he needs to send the same message to Hillary Clinton and them and say, look, you need to get prosecuted. And this guy here, he he shouldn't be a felon anymore. You know, I I it's difficult. It's 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 such an uphill battle being a felon and trying to get a job and and trying to assimilate back into society. So um, what, based yeah. on what we just learned with Huma Abedin and this this latest email release, what do you think should happen to her? Should she see jail I, time? I think she should be prosecuted. You know, I, I it's neither here nor there whether she should see jail time. That's what a, a you know, a, a grand jury and what a, you know, a, a jury of her peers say. But she should be prosecuted. She should be put through the same legal system that went after me. Unfortunately, I didn't have near the legal resources that she does or Hillary Clinton does, so they'll be able to mount a much better defense than I could. But even still, they should still well, be charged I, the same as me. I know it. And as you just detailed to us here, that this has been extremely uh, painful to your family. I know you have a young daughter at home as well. We'll continue to follow your story, Christian. Thank you so much. And thank you for following it. Thanks for coming on. Also,